What the hell is this feed forward? How should I use it? And why should I use it? And does it work? You might notice that inside of the pit tuning tab, there is something called the feed forward element right next to the derivative, the D term derivative element. First of all, it's not really a feed forward. It's the rather to call it precisely. It's the set point derivative gain, almost the same. Well, not almost the same but fit forward sounds nicely and uh, let's call it just a fit forward by the way fit forward is also used on the INAV airplane uh, controller but over there it's not a derivative it's only really a fit forward never mind what what is the fit forward element before we go there um i have to make the slight um, how to call it you have to know what d term is really doing some time ago, I wrote an article for the Quad Me Up. The link is there or there. I never remember and forget where I put those. Derivative, the D term part of the controller, is something that tries to keep the acceleration at zero. Acceleration of something. And there are two methods, two main methods of computing the D term. One is in, in our case of our quadcopters and drones. One is based that we compute the derivative, the acceleration only of the gyro readings. And the second one is the derivative, the D term element of the error, how error accelerates or how gyro rotation speed accelerates. This can be in case number one, when we are uh, measuring the derivative of the rotation speed based only on the gyro, the D term always acts as a dumping force. It counteracts, tries to counteract every rotation speed change. If you are starting a, uh, starting a movement, starting to move the trick, sticks, the D term fights this back, and when you release the stick, you want to stop the rotation, it also fights this back. When the D term is computed based on error, it accelerates at the beginning and dumps at the end. So, because when you start to move the stick, the D term from the error uh, is the error is growing, so it tries to counteract the error, so it kicks in. This is called the derivative kicked in. And when you release the stick, the error is uh, one more time uh, going down, not one more time, is going down, so it counteracts the error change and dumps the end of the movement. In previous versions of beta flights, and not only, there was something called the D term weight and the D term relaxation ratio. The D term weight allows you to set which D term computation method should be used. If set to zero, then only the gyro inputs is used for D term. So the quad feels very detached and swooshy, not responsive. Or one and above, when only the error is used. And then it's responsive, but with the D term kick and it's sometimes hard to control or you was able to set it some values between those two plus the set D term set pot relaxation ratio that change the behavior of the D term should it be using gyro only or error comparing to how your stick is right now positioned it worked sure it worked but nobody really knew <laughs> <laughs> how to set it and understood the logic, which, by the way, was very simple. So um, with Betaflight 3.5, we're going to have something new that is called the fit forward. And now the funny part. And now, like I promised, what the fit forward does. It, it splits the previously known the D term into two separate parts of the controller. There is no set point weight. There is no uh, set point relaxation ratio. There is only a D term, which indeed is the gain for the gyro only element, the responsible for the dumping of any acceleration change. And the fit forward gain that is responsible only for the kick in 
or slow down based only on the user stick input. That means that the gain, the gain is the gain for what happens when previously you had the set point weight at zero. It, 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 it tells you how much damping force should be applied, while the feed forward is the force that's proportional to the speed of change of the position of the stick on the roll, pitch or deal. The faster you move the stick, the more feed forward is passed to the motors. The slower you move the stick, the less feed forward is uh, passed to the motors. What happens? In theory, you can get rid of the derivative kick at five to zero, no derivative kick. It's not really 100% sure because there will always be some kick when you start the movement, but it will be it will be smaller because right now there is not a way that when you counteract the current movement, you will get an extra value over there. No, because this is now controlled and probably even easier to set up by two separate gains. Derivative, which acts as a dumping force and uh, feed forward gain that is proportional. It's the force that will be applied based only on your input on the sticks. And that means also that the D term can counteract feed forward P and I know, no, no, it doesn't, it, it can, but it doesn't matter. It can't counteract and make the transition into starting the maneuver or ending the maneuver smoother. In my opinion, it should be easier to set it up because nobody really understood what the set points transition and weight was, how to use it, where to use it, what does it mean if I move it above one zero. Now, if you want slightly more sharper response at the beginning of the of the movement of the speed movement, you just increase the fit for fit forward uh, gain, and that's all. If you want slightly less uh, responsibility, you decrease this parameter. And that's all. If you want uh, smoother stops, you increase the D term and uh, it also, also should work. Like I said in the beginning, I did not flow it yet because I had no time. I was on vacation. Never mind. Anyhow, mm, this also right now is locked into the black box lock. So you can see what's happening. And I really think that quite soon the UAV future, not, not the UAV futures, the UAV tech, sorry, sorry, Mark, will also make the video showing what goes where. Maybe I will be the first one if I will be able to record some data over the weekend. I hope so. Next, the D term is active always. It always will try to counteract any change, but the for the strongness, the, the the gain of this uh, counteracting force can now really be configured separately, while the feed forward element, like I said, is active only when you touch the sticks. If you don't touch the sticks, you don't. This this element is not uh, not working at all. This also means that right now you don't have to increase the P gain to increase the responsiveness of the of the drone. If you want more sharper response. You just gain the fit forward. The fit forward is not doing anything for the stabilization. It does not does it does nothing to keep the it stable. It only acts when user the pilot requests something from the quadcopter. Like I said, this is uh, still kind of experimental stuff. Um, Watch for more videos on the topic. How to set it up? Start with the uh, start with the defaults because the defaults that you can see right now is the equivalent of the defaults previously from the Beta Flight 3.4. Also in the GitHub pages, let me find this on the Beta Flight 3.5 tuning notes. There is information how this works from the mathematical point of view and uh, what you should do to port your current perfectly flying setup to the fit forward element. You have to get something, divide something by something. It's over here and it works just just fine. 
Okay, that's all for today. I had uh, completely different plans for today, but uh, when I saw this feed forward element, yeah, I have to make a video about this. Expect more on the topic with some uh, testing, maybe some black box logs. We will see how it comes. And what? Well, until the next one. Ciao, ciao.